Hello everyone, my name is George Zinidis and this is the Greek Vineyard. In this English Voice Viticulture episode, I'm going to demonstrate spore pruning. So, right now we are inside a vineyard with a Greek variety of Assyrtiko. It's a famous Greek variety and we are going to leave two buds or in some cases three buds for the next year. So, let me grab my pruning tools and start the spool pruning but before that I need you to subscribe my channel and follow me on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. For our video today I'm gonna use an electric pruning shears. It's a cheap version, a Chinese version, uh, below 200 euros. You can find many electric pruning shears from very low prices to very expensive ones like the Pelenk or Felco or other companies. In that case I'm using a cheap version below 200 euros with a battery on the pruning shears, not on the back, uh, which is very good, it's uh, powerful, it's lightweight, so it's a good option. So let me walk in the vineyard and start demonstrating the spore pruning method on the Greek variety Assyrtiko. The procedure is the same for all varieties that we are uh, going to use spore pruning method. You can use it in many other varieties. So let me plug the battery, start the pruning shears, double click to open the blade and here we are this is a 10 years old trunk i'm going to start from that point the procedure is very simple i'm going to do it two or three times so you can understand it i'm going to start from that point i'm going to remove the old one this is a two years old wood with a one year old cane i'm going to remove the higher cane and now, at this point, I'm going to measure the buds. Here we have one, two, and I'm going to cut. Also, we can leave three buds or four buds. That depends on the variety of the grapevine. For this variety, the Assyrtiko, the best pruning is the two buds spur pruning. Of course, we are not measuring the base bud, the one here, so we are not calculating the first bud. I'm going to measure from here, one, two buds, and I'm going to make the pruning cut here at least two to three centimeters away from the bud. And we are doing that to avoid freezing damages on the bud. In case of freezing, it will start from here and it will go one or 1.5 centimeters inside the cane and then it will stop. So in that case, we are protecting the bud from freezing damage. Let's go here again. I'm going to remove the two years old wood with a one year old cane. And then again, one, two buds here. And I'm going to cut before the third bud. Even the very cheap electric shears now have progressive trigger. And this makes the tool very precise and very safe. In that case, I'm going to remove again two years old that's a two years old cane with a one year old cane. And then again, I'm going to make the cut one bud, two here. In that case, our workers did not remove the shot from this point. So we have a good cane. We can use these canes to remove all the heads, especially if we have a very old vineyard, we can replace these old heads with new canes from the cordon. Or, as I saw in a previous episode, we can remove all the cordons and replace them. Let's continue the pruning. 
In that case, I can remove the excessive head and cut it to one or two buds to create a new head. And again, here again. I will get my camera on my head and continue demonstrating spur pruning methods. After a while, it will be a very mechanical job. You don't need to calculate or think. You just do after a while. As you can see, there is no pre-pruning here, but we are going to apply pre-pruning. We are going to talk about pre-pruning on another episode. With pre-pruning, we can remove most of the length of the canes, and in that case, spur pruning is much easier. So that's all about spur pruning on a Greek variety Assyrtiko. The method is the same for all the grape vines that we are going to use spur pruning methods. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, click on the subscribe button, click on the like, and also you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. <music>